If I had to describe my experience in one word, it'd probably be sporadic or flexible. Uh, challenging. Iwakuni, I think, literally means that it's a rock city or rock village is the translation. I'd say that it's a good metaphor for us. It's a strong, strong community. I, I like to tell people at the New Joint Briefs, et cetera, that we're a large family living on a really small uh, little base here. As an RF Marine on MCAS Iwakuni, we're pretty much always, always training, always doing something to further our knowledge on the airfield, uh, Japanese planes, uh, our aircraft, just anything that we need to know in case there is some type of mishap. We do a lot of training, uh, get all of our licenses. If I, if I was back in any other station for the Marine Corps, I wouldn't have the licenses or CDCs that I have right now. So it's very, very good for if you're trying to further yourself in the job field, whether it's in a military lifestyle, DOD, or civilian. The nice thing about being in Japan is you have a lot of countries you can fly to, like the Philippines or Thailand or Australia where they have great bombing runs and stuff like that, or if you want to do chaff and flare, or whatever you're trying to do, there's definitely an area out here for you to do it. And uh, you definitely see a lot of stuff that you'd never see in the States, which is pretty cool, like flying, doing aerial refueling past uh, Mount Fuji, which is pretty, pretty cool. Each and every individual uh, Marine here makes a difference. So because it's a small base, you know, when someone isn't, isn't picking up their weight, um, then it's felt in other areas. So I believe that here, more than anywhere else, Marines can stand, uh, step up and outshine um, and really take the reins if they want it. So for me personally, it's been a challenge because uh, being an aviator, um, now being in a headquarters squadron is just kind of stepping outside of my element. So I'm uh, interacting with, as I mentioned before, people from all different MOSs, not just in the aviation field. So especially on the headquarters and headquarters squadron side, you're providing the base support uh, function. So I've got you know the postal marines and, and the ones that uh, are working at PMO. You know, I would have had very little interaction with those um, those people in, in previous billet assignments. So I'd say overall it's been challenging but in a good way. Right now I'd say that it's a especially important place to work based on the strategic nature of the space and where we're located within the PACOM uh, AOR and uh, recent developments that have occurred on, on the base with regards to historic arrival of the F-35B first floor deployed F-35 squadron uh, as well as the relocation of CBW-5 um, Carrier Air Wing 5 from Atsugi, Japan, coming down here this year, ongoing for about the next uh, 12 to 18 months as well as we onboard them. Um, there's a lot going on on the base, so there's plenty of work to be done, and, and right now is a, is a really opportunistic time for individuals that are willing to uh, step up because I think it's a great time to see the results of your actions actually bear fruit.